morning, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.18. I know this video on your screen says 1.17, but the, the video I'm recording right now is for 1.18, and that will go here, and obviously, it can't go there until the video's live. So, we'll just get that out of the way. This is for Minecraft 1.18, and it's gonna show you every step of downloading and installing Forge. Then, we're gonna give you another video that will show you how to install mods once you've got Forge installed. This means if you already know how to install Forge mods, but you wanna figure out why Forge might not be working in 1.18, you don't have to watch that part of the video, but if you want to know the entire thing, you can watch both videos. It's kind of perfect. So be sure to check out the eye at the top of your screen to see how to install Forge mods once you finished this tutorial. No reason to install Forge mods until you've got Forge itself installed. First and foremost, though, we do have some more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server with Forge installed or with not out Forge, with vanilla or plugins or anything you want. Apex can do it all when it comes to Minecraft servers. We actually love them so much. We also our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.18. And by the way, if you are having issues installing Forge, we're going to show you how to fix it and what's different about 1.18 Forge from previous versions. First one was though, we need to download Forge, which you can get from the second link in the description down below. When you click on that link, it will actually take you to our text tutorial for Forge, where you can kind of go through things at your own pace as well as like some people just like reading stuff instead of doing videos so we have these text tutorials once you're here though go ahead and click on the green download forge button and that will take you off to forge's official website where you want to make sure mc 1.18 is selected for me it is automatically but if it's not for you come over here to the left hand side click on plus 1.18 and then click on 1.18 again then you'll see 1.18 here and come under your download latest you can click on installer then it'll take you off to this page where stop don't click anything on your page whatsoever don't click anything put your hands up in the air just waiting like you don't care i don't know just put your hands up don't click anything on this page except the red skip button that will appear after about 10 seconds in the top right that's the only thing you want to click on this page it's the red skip button in the top right when you click on that in the bottom left of google chrome you'll have forge download however if you're almost still firefox you need to save it in the of your screen. On Google Chrome though, you'll click keep in the bottom left on the Forge download, right? Click keep in the bottom left. Good. Forge is now downloaded. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to find our Forge file. It's going to be in the downloads folder. So to find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, and then click on downloads. In this downloads file folder here, click on that. And right there it is, Forge 1.18. Drag it to your desktop for ease of use. Now, if you don't have the same looking file type as me, like this doesn't look like a Java logo coffee cup here, no worries. Don't freak out about it. We're going to just continue off this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. But first, I'm guessing a lot of people who are watching this video have installed Forge in the past. And this time, when you double click on Forge or when you right click on Forge, click open with, click Java and click OK, this doesn't open. It does not work. The reason for that is Java 17 is now required for Forge. You need Java 17 in order for Forge, Minecraft servers, any of that to work now. And to get that, we have a link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Java 17, and it goes over everything. Basically though, once you're here, just click on the yellow download button, download for Windows, click Windows there, click on this download link right here, and then install Forge like you would any other program. Then you should be able to open up Forge and get Forge installed. However, you may still need to run the jar fix, and this is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java and basically make them work together. Nevertheless, though, at this point, you should be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Then you'll get the Mod System Installer for Forge, where you just click on Install Client and click OK. This is going to download, install, basically get everything set up and working for Forge in Minecraft 1.18. And then once it's done, it's going to come up and say successfully installed. However, if you do have issues at this point, it's because you need to go and play Minecraft 1.18 without any mods, without any anything. Just go play Minecraft 1.18, release 1.18, and then come back to this and install it and it will work. Nevertheless, once it's successful, you can go ahead and click OK, and it will close out of the Forge installer. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so, and we want to make sure we're playing the Forge profile. To do that, you want to just click this little arrow to the left of the play button, this little arrow here, and select Forge. As you can see, mine was already selected. It probably will select yours automatically too, but you want to go ahead and click that there. It should say 1.18 Forge under it. Once you've got that, click play and click play again. But for some of you, you don't have Forge when you click this little arrow. In that case, you want to go to installation 
options here. And first, you want to make sure modded is checked on the right-hand side. As you can see, I remove modded, uncheck modded, Forge disappears. Check modded, and guess what? Forge comes back. In that case, click play, click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge, what you need to do is click on new installation here. Then you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible 1.18 grief protected survival and skyblock server. Absolutely incredible. Come play with us on Breakdown Craft. Nevertheless, though, once you've got your name, the most important part of this is clicking on version. Then selecting release 1.18 Forge. Now, mine's right up here towards the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours. I've even, I've even seen it be at the very, very bottom of this list, just so you know. But Nevertheless, we want to click release 1.18 Forge right here. I then want to change the resolution just so we can see once we get in game. And then we want to click create in the bottom right. We now have this new playdarbreakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18 Forge under it. We can then go ahead and hover over that and click the green play button. And then we want to confirm we're playing modded Minecraft and click the green play button again. Now, Minecraft 1.18 is going to open up with Forge installed. It's that simple and that easy. However, some of you may have issues here. You may get an exit code zero or one sort of an error. If that's the case, most likely you have other mods installed. As you can see, I have just gotten an exit code zero, basically meaning Forge isn't working. That's because I have other mods installed. So let's go ahead and fix this issue. To do this, you want to go ahead and click close here, and then you can close out of the Minecraft launcher. It's completely up to you whether or not you do that. Once you've done that, you want to click the little windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen, and then type in run. You'll have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in this run app, you want to go ahead and type in percent app data percent, exactly like that, percent sign, app data percent sign, and then hit enter. And then we have our roaming folder here. In the roaming folder, we have the .minecraft folder. Go ahead and open that up. Then once we open up the .minecraft folder, we will have a mods folder. So if we go ahead, open that mods folder, we can see, wow, not only do I have mods in there from older versions, 1.17.1, I also have fabric mods. So those are obviously not going to work. There's two ways to do this. You can just delete these or you can just remove your mods folder entirely. That's perfectly fine as well. Once you do that, you can close out of the .minecraft folder and we can open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time, we just want to click play just like we just did on the same profile and everything. Nothing else is changing. As you can see, playdarbreakdowncraft.com, 1.18 forge, click play. And now Minecraft is going to open up and work perfectly fine with Forge installed. But that being said, expect a lot of bugs. Forge is brand new right now, and it is very much so, I wouldn't even call it beta, I would call it alpha. I had an issue with Forge right before this where it wouldn't launch at all, and they had to release a new version to fix that issue. So it is one of those things, there are gonna be bugs in Forge if you're installing this within the first month or two after 1.18 comes out. Eventually though, those bugs will all be fixed and everything will work perfectly fine. However, if let's say you have other issues than the one that I just had, you didn't have any mods in your mods folder and you still had an issue. Well, in that case, we do have a link in the description down below to how to fix broken Minecraft mods. It has 37,000 views, 100 or 840 likes. It is going to help you fix Minecraft mods. It's 18 minutes of going through every single potential issue that you could have with a Minecraft mod. It's really in depth and you should go check it out if you do have any more issues. Nevertheless though, at this point, Forge is open as you can see we have the mods tab here and 1.18 mods can be installed. So be sure to go to the eye at the top of your screen or click on the video on your screen right now or in the description down below on how to install Forge mods once you have Forge installed. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single day of the week. My name is Nick and I am out. Peace.